Hello there and welcome to the Hedgerow Stitching Podcast. My name is Rebecca and I'm coming to you from Cornwall in the UK. This is a podcast where I like to show you what I've been working and knitting on in the last couple of weeks. If you're new around here, you can find me on Instagram as Hedrow Stitching, Ravelry as Hedrow Stitching, and I also have a hedrowstitching.com website. Today, it's all about the knitting, and I'm really pleased to come to you on Sunday, the 30th of April, 2023. It's around 10 to 12 time for coffee. Everything I talk about in this video will be mentioned and described in the description box below and there are also timestamps on this video if you want to skip forward to certain parts. Anyway, I welcome you all to the Hedro Stitching Podcast. Let's get down to it. Since I saw you last, I have cast on and cast off the Salty Air Tea by Samantha Gurin. I knit a size... I never remember the size that I knit. Let me check. I should check before I come in. One, two, three, four. I knit the size four and this is a fingering weight summer top with a beautiful lace yoke. I'm pleased with the how it knitted up but however I'm not really pleased with some of my knitting. Um, my gauge was fine and um, the neckline is okay but could be a lot tidier. I've got a little mark here where I held a stitch marker just to measure the length of the body and when I took it off I thought it might settle in blocking but it actually hasn't so it's visible, probably not to anyone else but just to me which is irritating. Um, I knit um, the, it is a very cropped style but I knit mine a tiny bit longer um, just so um, it was sort of came to the top of my jeans and I'll stand up here and I'll show you what I mean. I've just taken it off the blocking mats and it's a little bit pointy on the sleeve here but that will press out with time. I'll insert, insert a photograph of um, how I found my tea blocking the other day. Um, my dog Betty, my little terrier, had actually sat on it. Um, she thought she was heating it up for me because I kept checking to see whether it was dry enough to wear in my podcast today. Um, this is a very easy, beautiful repeat. I did all the lace repeats down to the bust and I think it looks really nice like that. Um, I'm very happy with it. I did knit it in a fingering weight yarn in the colour straw and this is Nurturing Fibres Sock Yarn. I had a look on their website and Nurturing Fibres are from South Africa and I think only a couple of places in the UK sell Nurturing Fibres but I really, I decided that I really like the high twist sock. It comes out with a lovely stitch definition. I'll insert some more photographs at the end that we took outside um, just to show off the tea. So this is a beautiful summer tea. I will knit it again and I'm just looking for the um, choosing my colours. I'm in a different location today because we had an issue with the lighting upstairs and upstairs here is my um, knitting office and we've got these beautiful large windows down here so I thought it would be a little bit better down here this morning. Moving on, I thought I would show you my Felix pullover that I wore last time and the, the light was so poor you couldn't really see it. So this is it all finished and I have been wearing it and you can see here the lovely raglan pattern there. It's still quite dark to show it off but um, my Swarbles wool in my um, balled up version. I started knitting my son a slip over in Swarbles and I realised that once I had done about a third of it, it was going to be too small for him. So um, I ripped it all back, which is why it's in this ball here. And last night I cast on again 102 stitches for the rib and I'm just going to do a basic slip over design 102 stitches on the rib straight up knit um, front and back 
um, do a little bit of a rib collar and rib um, sleeves and that will be fine for him. He just wants a plain pullover as a layering piece. Um, this is really lovely wool. I wish I had more of it. I do have quite um, a few balls lying around um, but it's nice to use it up because it came from our own flock. So there's my swirl balls wool. Um, I have um, one other whip to show um, and I've also been um, organising my summer knits. So my other whip, I mentioned in my last video that I was um, watching Stephen West and his striped pup sweater video and I went and bought the pattern and this is one of the pictures. And I'm knitting Betty's in um, two colours and they were Wolfen Stash and they are the Jameson's double knitting, one in mustard colourway and the other is um, plum. These were um, stock left over from when my daughter knit her um, colour work sweater a few years ago. So they've just been sitting upstairs and it's really good to be able to use them up. And what I have done is just the neck at the moment. It's a striped, four striped row striped repeat and um, I had knit a lot more of it, but I realised I was increasing every third row instead of um, what was recommended on the pattern. So um, Betty will have to wait a little bit longer for her stripy coat. It, I don't think she really matters. She's sitting in her dog bed down here because it's coming into spring and summer, so she won't be needing it till the autumn, which means that I can have this on a slow stitch. So that's Betty's little jumper. Um, what else have I got? Um, I've got some sock yarn that um, I bought and I'm not sure if I've shown this before but I thought it's so pretty I'll show it again and this is from one of my um, favourite indie yarn dyers and it's Beehive Yarns and this is um, in her Bardo and her Audrey sock yarn. Okay, so merino and nylon and merino and nylon. So they're both merino and nylon bases. And this is in the colour, I haven't shown these, flower crown. Beautiful pinks and like a terracotta pink. And this one is also, oh, they're both flower crown. Oh, that's right. I bought one for myself and one for my daughter to show her how to knit socks. So those are those two. So I'll move on to my um, patterns that I have purchased. The first one is um, the Outline Tea by Jessie Made Designs. I was looking for a pattern to use up some of my merino and silk fingering weight yarn that I have in stash. I've got about six to eight skeins of this. Um, I have used this in a shawl project but ripped it back because um, I didn't like how it was coming out but I thought this would be a lovely champagne colour and would be ideal for knitting out the outline tee. Um, I've not ma made any of Jessie Made Designs patterns yet but um, I thought that would be a lovely colour to wear in the summertime and it would go with lots of things. The next plan I saw on, um, I was watching Nitty McPurley. She was introducing her faucet pattern and I think she um, came out with this in 2020 and um, it's a double knit stranded, stranded um, sweater, summer sweater. That's the design. I will put in a photograph here um, of the of her colourway. Um, it's knit as a fitted top, short sleeved with a round neck, and she has recommended um, a double knit superwash merino. It's a three colour fitted top down cropped yoke pullover. 
and the colours I got for mine are also beehive yarns and the first one is um, Dolly which is gasoline, gasoline Alley That's that one and this is her merino and yeah extra fine merino double knit so gasoline alley latte and nacre 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 so these are my three for the faucet design and I'm going to look forward to knitting that up so maybe next time you'll see me in a faucet sweater. We had a very exciting time last night. My son released his first song and it was streamed live on BBC Southwest. Um, obviously we live in Cornwall so it covered Cornwall, Devon and Somerset and I will put it at the end of this video. He also a day later released the video to go along with the song and we're very very proud of him and I thought you may like to hear his first version of um, this first song that he's released. I hope you're all well and having a lovely weekend. We have a bank holiday here tomorrow for the first Monday in May. We also have another bank holiday the following Monday for the celebration of the crowning of the King of England and we also have a bank holiday at the end of the month so it will be plenty of time to get some knitting in. Anyway I hope you're all well and enjoying your weekend and I shall talk to you again soon. Take care everybody, bye bye. I need to, I have to run.